crack everyone, Jobber here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be popping up with 24 booster packs of Metal Raiders. This is one of the very first Yu-Gi-Oh sets to ever come out. Actually, it was the second Yu-Gi-Oh set to ever come out, so it's really exciting. There's some amazing cards in here like Gate Guard and incredible trap cards in here as well. You have cards like Solemn Judgment and Mirror Force. I have never pulled a Mirror Force from a booster pack, and hopefully that will change today. And for that help, I brought Jerry Beansman and Bolt Penguin our two mascots for today's video and I'm also be doing two giveaways in today's video so bolt penguin wanted to give away obelisk the tormentor slifer the sky dragon and the wing dragon of raw and for our second giveaway we're giving away the legendary blue eyes white dragon dark magician and red eyes black dragon all you have to do is be a subscriber give this video a like comment down below your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh character from any series it does not matter first series all the way to now comment down below i cannot wait to read your guys's responses and follow me on instagram in the link in the description down below to that and say hi to me and i will always say hi back so this is our third episode moving into this the first four sets of Yu-Gi-Oh! if you've missed the other ones i will have a link down below to our spell ruler opening and our pharaoh's servant opening so check those out if you haven't already and without any further ado my friends let's get cracking all right so these cards are beautiful looking <laughs> i don't even want to remove them all right let's go and see what metal raiders has in store for us oh my gosh it's been a long time since we've opened up some metal raiders booster packs and hopefully we get some incredible pulls in today's video and there it is metal raiders this is the second Yu-Gi-Oh set to ever come out so we went legend of blue eyes then metal raiders so i've been doing them in reverse order lead all the way up to legend of blue eyes i am planning on doing that opening this saturday possibly sunday i was rolling it out of my head so most likely saturday i'll be doing a legend of blue eyes booster pack opening so let's go uh hopefully we can pull a blue eyes white dragon from there that would be absolutely amazing now we have the white magical hat this is kind of like a Donza You can do direct damage with it. You can discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Not too bad. Oh, we have a Jirai Gomo. This one is really interesting. So I ran this in a deck. I pay, I called it Pay Half My Life Points. Way back in the day, it was a fun deck. When this card attacks, toss a coin and call it. If you call it right, the attack is normal. If you call it wrong, reduce your life points by half. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit scary, but it was 2200 attack was enormous. So it was actually really nice back in uh, back in the good old days And we have the pumpkin king actually a really cool looking common monster. All right, so On to pack number two, let's go and see what we can pull out of here We have the destroyer golem the castle of dark illusions 920 attack have you ever ha seen a monster with weird attack stats this is like the weirdest one 920 and then the defense is 19 at 30. it really sucked using that uh, doing life points with that because i would do 8080 so this one's kind of cool so you got the mass sorcerer when this still is uh, i believe it's direct damage you draw one card uh, when you inflict damage to your opponent's life points with this card, draw one card from your deck. So yeah, not too bad. Me, me and my friends tried that out back in the days. Oh, we got the Rapid Horseman. The key little Kaiba card. Well, was, I think the only time that Kaiba put that on the field was against Joey. They just like stumbled upon him. He, try, he was trying out his dual discs. That's pretty cool. Cool episode. If you haven't seen it, check it out. All right. Oh, nice. The seven colored fish. This was a staple in so many of my old school beat down decks around this. Oh my gosh. We are pulling a MRD change of heart. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Probably one of the most powerful spell cards to ever be printed. You activate this card, take control of one of your opponent's monsters. It doesn't matter if it's face up or face down. They get the monster back on the end phase. But the thing about this that made it incredible was back in like the GOAT format, or basically a format when this was legal and Magician of Faith. Taking your opponent's Magician of Faith, flipping it, and then adding one spell card from your graveyard back to your hand, you could even add the change of heart back. Then take control of one of your, one of your opponent's other monsters. So this was absolutely crazy. And definitely one of the best spell cards to ever be printed. And and one of the absolute most beautiful looking spell cards. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do a shout out to our KMC Hypermat Sleeves for donating sleeves to the channel. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely awesome. Actually, my friend Paul and some of you that have uh, watched the channel for a long time know who he is. This is his all-time favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. Fun fact. 
That is really awesome. Off to a good start. I think we should high five to that. So we will, and we're going to move forward here. So we have the Mask of Darkness, which is actually a really cool flip effect monster. You flip and add one trap card from your giver back to your hand. I uh, comboed this with Tsukiyomi way back in the day. And it was really cool because I was able to get cards like Drop Off or there was other ways where I would go and just uh, keep on adding Solemn Judgment back from my graver to my hand and basically kind of like having my opponent under a little bit of a soft lock. It's kind of cool. Nice little control deck. I told, as you as you guys have known, if you guys watch any of my deck profiles, I'm really into control type decks. That's the, the style I've built since the beginning of the card game, uh, except for the very first decks, which was just straight beat down, which is control. <laughs> so I really enjoyed those. Fake Trap was our rare there. The Crawling Dragon. That's really cool. And our second copy of this. We pulled one in our last booster pack. And we got our, our little moth right there. On to our next booster pack. So our first foil that we pull was a Ultra Rare spell card. And it just wasn't any spell card. It's one of the most powerful spell cards to ever be released. It is still on the Forbidden list. That thing was on one of the most, was one on one of the first forbidden lists. I believe it was the second forbidden list that we had in the game. And it's never come back off. That's how good it is. That is absolutely insane. And Robin Goblin. Very cool. We got the launcher spider there. It's a cocoon of evolution. It's actually a really cool looking card. If you've noticed, I've really enjoyed a lot of these cards. These uh, these these monsters attack directly. There was so many different monsters that are like small attack, but they attack your opponent's life points directly. I mean, those early sets, crazy. Okay, let's see what this pack has in store for us. We have the Harpy Lady. Very nice. The Harpy Lady X is actually really good. They got the Labyrinth Tank. Remember seeing this in the series? Very cool. We have the Rainbow Flower. Another monster attacks directly. Very nice. I don't even know what this card even does. As long as the card remains face up on the field, increase the attack of all wind monsters by 500 points and decrease the attack of earth monsters by 400 points. Very interesting. Okay. All right. I like that. Well, this one right here, the winged dragon is really a, is really a cool looking monster. I like that one. I like that one on the series as well. Okay. On to our next booster pack. Let's see. We have the Feral Imp. That's nice. <laughs> big Eye. Remember this was uh, when the X XYZ Big Eye came out, and I think it was incredibly expensive. People were all <laughs> saying it got a Big Eye for sale, and this was the, the common they were using. Very cool. Oh, we got Soggy the Dark Clown. This is a Kaiba card. He comboed it with Crush Card Virus. If you missed that show, that episode, you should watch it. It was really cool. And then we have Witch of the Black Forest. Very nice. This one's a really cool one, especially back in the day, because you can you can add a monster with 1,500 defense or less from your deck to your hand. So you could trim it off for a monarch, and because all the monarch's defense are, are 1,000, you can add another monarch from your deck to your hand. So really, really cool card. The Swamp Battle Guard. But this is a Joey card, if I remember correctly. Another Labyrinth Tank. Very cool. Another Saga of the Dark Clown. Oh, nice. Uh, Bandit Keith, if I remember correctly. He ran this in his deck. It was very cool. It was an episode where Pegasus was, uh, was uh, dueling Bandit Keith, and then Pegasus picked a random kid from the stands and wrote down uh, how to beat Bandit Keith, gave it to the kid, and the kid followed it step by step. But I believe that was the time where Bandit Keith had this on the field. Absolutely a beautiful looking super rare monster right there. That is really, really cool. The Elephantis. 2400 attack. Very cool. Man, so it was really cool watching the original series. Oh, Thunder Dragon here. Because they could just normal summon any monster. It didn't, they didn't have to tribute, so that was really cool. Cheerful Coffee. It was a card I ran off and on in different like Dark World decks. You discard three cards from your hand. It was okay. Gotta get those dark old effects somehow. Okay, so we've gotten two foils so far on the right side of our box. And another Thunder Dragon. Very cool. This is a really creepy card. A card that Pegasus played in his deck as well. <laughs> Please, is another one, actually. It's our one of here. I think it might be a short print, actually. Another Robin Goblin. Very nice. The Empress Judge. Another Rainbow Flower. Another one of those monsters that can attack your opponent's life points directly. Okay, let's go and see if we can add to our two foils. We have one ultra and then a one super rare so far. Let's see if we can add a little bit more to that. So block attack. 
Electric Lizard Dream Clown. Oh my gosh, I built a clown deck with my friend. This is a really awesome monster. It goes from uh, de to attack to defense. You get to destroy one monster you put inside the field. Very, very cool. And there it is, the Magician of Faith. One of the most powerful flip effect monsters in uh, the, back in the good old days. You flip and add one spell card from your graveyard to your hands. This is the card I was talking about, combo with the change of heart right there. When you take, take your opponent's very scary stuff. Protector of the Throne. Another feral imp right there. Oh, this is a uh, interesting looking card. <laughs> the dragon piper. Very oh my gosh! We pulled a ultra rare black skull dragon, and, and that is so awesome because it's the cover card of the set. Oh my gosh! Wow, that is awesome. <laughs> that is actually insane. Oh my gosh, gotta show the cover of the box itself. You got Yugi right there with Black Skull Dragon. That is so awesome. What a epic looking card. Summon Skull and Red Eyes Black Dragon make this. And this was like Joey's like big power card. That is incredible. We have to high five to that one as well. Oh my gosh, what a pull. So we have so far gotten three foils from the right side of our box. So I am really pumped about that. And let me, let me get this card in a sleeve. Oh my gosh, it is resisting. There we go. Black Skull Dragon Ultra Rare. Oh my gosh, two Ultras and one Super Rare. There's our Rich of the Black Forest, the Pale Beast, and another Rapid Horseman. Very cool. Okay, on to our last booster pack here on our right side of our box. We'll move over to our left side and see if we can continue this incredible luck that we are having right now. Oh my gosh. Three foils. Another Castle of Dark Illusions. If you're doing the 8-0 technique on a calculator, that card sucks. <laughs> Elegant Egotist. Very nice rare. Card that uh, that Mai ran in her harpy deck. Very cool. Okay, well let's move this let's move this up here and go to our second half of our booster packs here and let's go and see if we can add some more epicness to our pile here. Hopefully we'll pull a secret rare. There's a thousand dragon here that we can pull, or the gate guardian, which is obviously the card. That <laughs> oh, nice! And uh, we ended up pulling a Karibo. This is crazy. So back when Show and Jumps, is it was before YCS that they had them as Show and Jumps. There was a lot of people that were side decking Karibo for time. So like, so your opponent, when they would attack you, they could just Karibo and just win by a few life points. <laughs> Some crazy things. So fun fact, people legitimately used to play Karibo in competitive decks in their side deck for uh, for time. And I, I just love the card as a whole. Super Akribo is absolutely incredible. I love this, especially when I saw Yugi play it. That is really, really awesome. And nice to another foil there. So, and they got a little uh, comment right here. I think this was short, but I'm not sure. This thing got really, really expensive. It's original print anyway. I don't know if it was just because it's just like an old fusion or people were just using it for like a nice instant fusion target. Not exactly sure, but it was getting up there in price. We got the Steel Scorpion right there. This little eagle. Jinzo number seven. He can attack directly. Yep, 500 attack. Two star. Another white magical hat. It's our second one. Our second swamp battle guard as well. All in the same pack. This one attacks directly as well, right? Yeah, 350 attack. Huh. It's all like various attacks. You've noticed that? 350 attack, 400 attack, 500 attack for the monsters who can attack directly. Never too big, but yeah. And I got Crass Clown right here. This is another one for the Clown deck. Goes from defense to attack. You return one monster on the field to its owner's hand. You just be able to keep on returning your opponent's monsters to their hand. And it was really cool with the like, gravity binds and things like that. Very, very neat. Oh, nice. We have Sangin now. So if we got Sangin and Witch of the Black Forest. Sangin adds, when it's destroyed, sent to the graveyard. Add one 1500 attack or lower monster from your deck to your hand. It's very cool. And a Crawling Dragon. You could also crush card virus Sangin and get Sangin's effect. Pretty crazy. 
especially back in the day before they eradicated its crush card virus. <laughs> oh my gosh, we actually ended up pulling a secret rare, secret rare thousand dragon. Oh my gosh, there it is. One of the two secret rares you can pull from the set. This is absolutely amazing. And if my memory serves me correctly, I believe the only person to put this on the field was Joey. Oh my gosh. Time Wizard and Baby Dragon, yep, definitely was Joey that did this. Oh my gosh, what a stunning, the this, this Secret Rare foiling on this card is so beautiful. It is absolutely stunning, wow. That is awesome. What a gorgeous looking card. Oh my gosh. Our luck in today's video is absolutely insane. If you haven't liked this video already, please give this video a like just for the Thousand Dragon itself. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my goodness. I just love the way that card looks. My gosh. All right, well, our uh, pile of foils for this video is growing. It looks like the technique for putting Jerry Beans Man and Bolt Penguin to give us some luck has been paying off today. That is really cool. Another Crass Clown, right? A Grass? Crass, yeah. Crass Clown. <laughs> Second guessing myself here. We got the Battle Steer. Ooh, five star. Okay, no foil traps as of yet. Let's go and see if we can go and get one. We got another Pharaoh Imp. And let's see, another Robin Goblin. We pulled uh, pulled some rares, but no foil ones yet. Those are the Paralyzing Potion. A non-machine monster equipped with this card cannot attack. Huh, I don't think I've ever had anybody uh, use that against me <laughs> in any tournament that I've played in. Pretty crazy, because I've tacked into a lot of things. And I've had a lot of cards, like Dice Jar things used against me. Wow, our first copy of Soul Release. You get to banish up to five cards. From, I think it's from either player's graveyard. Select up to five cards from the graveyards and remove them from play. Yep. Doesn't matter, you can even banish your own cards if you wanted to for whatever reason. And we have a Magician of Faith in here. That's our second copy, very nice. All right, wow, this, uh, this box is treating us really well. Some incredible pulls so far, and we still have some more booster packs to go, so there's always that chance I could pull a Ultra Rare Mirror Force. That would be awesome. White Magical Hat. Yet again, I believe it's our third copy of that card, actually, this time. Hunter Spider. I think that's our first copy. And we have another Cocoon of Evolution. Block attack. Mushroom Man, number two. Oh, cool. The twin-headed thunder dragon. That is a cool super rare. So thunder just takes two thunder dragons. Huh. That's actually a really cool looking super rare. Nice. As I bumped the camera with my hand. I'm a little too excited there. Well, <laughs> two foil fusions. <laughs> That's actually kind of crazy for these old sets. That is a really cool looking super rare. Nice. So another foil gets added to our pile over there oh my gosh yeah definitely uh jerry beans man and bolt penguin over there putting in some work in today's video let's see if we can keep going pit moth tremendous fire burn your opponent for a thousand life points and you take 500 so it was a card that was getting played in a lot of different burn decks another elegant egotist it's our second copy the second copy of this we'll pull on a few two ofs in this this booster pack from all of our other booster packs. All right. I believe we have, this is our second to last booster pack. Got another Harpy Lady. <laughs> the, magician, the Magician King is weird. Takes Witch of the Black Forest and Lady of Faith. It's a fused it and you make this weird rock star dude. <laughs> it's such a weird fusion. And we've pulled so many of this card so far. Oh my gosh. Another Pumpkin King, the Creepy Box Guy, 
All right, so down to our last booster pack, my friends. Here we go. This is my last chance to be able to pull a Mirror Force out of one of these booster packs. Let's see if we can finally do it. Otherwise, we're going to have to try again. Because <laughs> it has to happen, right? Keep trying. Tremendous Fire, our second copy. Nice. Cannon Soldier. I mean, it's a nice rare, but it's no uh, no Ultra Mirror Force. So, unfortunately, no Ultra Mirror Force for Jobber. But this box was absolutely insane. We pulled one, two, three. Three Super Rares. Beautiful. We got... Two Ultra Rares, one of the probably, yeah, definitely one of the best Ultra Rares you could pull from the set. Change of Heart, Black Skull Dragon, and one of the two Seekers you could pull, the Thousand Dragon. Absolutely beautiful. Give this video a like, comment down below, and be a subscriber as you enter into this gorgeous contest. And I'll be giving away to two different winners, the Red Eyes Black Dragon, Dark Magician, the Blue Eyes White Dragon, and then... We have these beautiful Egyptian god cards right here. Obelisk of Tormentor, Sly for the Sky Dragon, and the Wing Dragon of Ra. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to check out our last episode. It should be this Saturday or Sunday. It'll be the Legend of Blue Eyes. I cannot wait. And if you've missed the Pharaoh Servant Spell Roller, check those out as well. They are absolutely amazing. Thanks again for tuning in. And Jobber here is signing out.